Okay, the man you're looking at in this heavyweight competition is De Campos of Brazil, a 195 pound, six foot two fighter against, there he is, Teofilo Stevenson of Cuba, 6'5", 222 pounds. Sugar Ray, have you had a chance to watch this man? What's he look like to you? Well, Stevenson, he's a big, broad man, and he has a very effective left jab and a sharp, stinging right hand. Um, I've noticed in Stevenson in training camp that he has a, a great uppercut. Okay. He use it in the later bouts. The last time Stevenson lost was back in 1971 when Dwayne Bobbick beat him, but he returned that, of course. Everybody saw that from the Olympic Games in 72, and he destroyed Dwayne Bobbick. This will be the fight. The winner, of course, will go against Michael Dokes, the young man you just saw from Akron, Ohio. Okay, round number one. Stevenson against this man, De Campos. Boy, Stevenson looks big, and he is 6'5", 222 pounds from Cuba. There's that big jab. What will De Campos be trying to do against somebody this awesome? What about the Cuban style, Sugar Ray? They move straight forward, and they can't back out very much, Well, can if the Cubans get you going backwards, they will take over. But see, if you can ever get a Cuban going backwards, they're completely defenseless. Okay, we'll see if the Campos from Brazil can do that. He's the man to your right, trying to find a place to probe. Stevenson holds his hands very high for a big man, doesn't he? he well, he um, generally watch out for left hooks. And as you can see, uh, the Campos, his left hand is down, considerably low. And Stevenson's waiting for a sharp right hand. And he has that sharp downhill right hand downhill from the six right foot hand. five, huh? Stevenson hasn't done much yet. Cautious. De Campos probing around with a jab. A shorter fighter. Stevenson paws out with that power jab. Then there's the right coming off the power jab. There's the jab coming out. Stevenson. The campus is moving to the wrong directions. He's moving to uh, Stevenson's right hand. That's not good. There it is. There's the knockdown. Right. Sugar Ray Leonard just told you. Raleigh Schwartz leaned in and said, watch out for a right hand, and then it came. The Campos on the deck for at least eight with a sneaky right hand behind the power jab, moving the wrong way. Stevenson moves in quickly. He's going back. Ooh. He's going right back into the same direction. Same way. There's the right hand again. Now the left. Stevenson just He's measuring the campus. Three left jabs in a row, and the fight's going to probably be over. The Campos game outclassed the young man from Brazil. A minute, four, a minute 11 seconds left in the round. In round one, and he's been down twice. There's that big right hand crossing. He's still moving that direction, isn't he? Wrong direction. Right hand's coming again. There's the left jab. There's the right hand crossing. There's two right hands behind this left jab. This fight is over. The campus is on the deck, and Stevenson meets Michael Dokes on Saturday night. Watch the position is in there and very quickly to get that mouthpiece out. International boxing, the main thing is the condition of that fighter. And if he's badly knocked out, he may not fight for 30 days. This was obvious, uh, an obvious case of one fighter outclassing the other, and perhaps it should have been stopped a little earlier. Three, three knockdowns and a knockout, and there's still 56 seconds left in round one. The campus is seriously hurt. See, and also that's one mistake of the um, amateur referees. When they see uh, that a boxer's outclassed, they should stop the bout. You're right, Sugar Ray Leonard. Here is Stevenson coming over now to look at the campus. Obviously, there's no hard feelings between two people that are competing, and the last thing, even a great champion like Stevenson would want is to hurt his opponent. There it is. I like that. A little bit of class, Mr. Stevenson. Other than a great boxing, Stevenson is also a great sportsman. Okay, and so this sets up, of course, Saturday night. And here on CBS, we'll have some of it as Michael Dokes will meet the man you see, Teofilo Stevenson of Cuba.